Hi, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. If you're watching us live, um, say hello to us and where are you tuning in from? Okay, I would like to introduce you today to Danny. He hello. finds uh, dirty electricity in your homes you. and cleans yeah. up your houses. So, um, uh, if you have uh, any questions, you can ask uh, down in the comments below, and uh, we will try to, Danny will try to answer these questions. I'm really curious about uh, this, all these things they come in our houses and how ba they bother to our um, health. Yes, yeah. Uh, so I find dirty electricity sources in people's homes and they come in, um, dirty electricity comes in wired form or wireless form. And um, it's been around ever since we've had electricity and it does, uh, uh, there's an impact. Um, you do, you pay a biologic toll for being in these environments of dirty electricity. <laughs> And say hi, Jacob. <laughs> and um, anyway, I, I find it in people's home environments and clean it up, help them um, mitigate uh, or do away with uh, the sources of dirty electricity. Yes, but tell me the story of your friend that um, her son had problem until you find out about this light. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is one of that my favorite. This is one of my favorite stories. A, a friend of my son um, would wake uh, every night with, um, I think they were petite mall seizures, um, and uh, he would wake at night, and uh, they call it nocturia, night wakings, and have to go to the bathroom. Um, or would you know go to the bathroom in his pants at night, wet the bed, and um, so just by doing a little cleanup of her environment, and really it was changing, getting rid of her light in her bedroom. He had a light that would come from the closet that would um, shine on him while he was sleeping, and almost immediately it had an immediate effect. It's interesting with kids; it can have a pretty immediate effect. They're so young and healthy, um, or their their mitochondria are so young and healthy. Um, and it did. It, he stopped having seizures um, immediately, and which is like a, I don't know, one of the hugest, the biggest success stories um, that I've ever run across uh, dealing with dirty electricity. But it comes in other forms. Uh, dirty electricity can come in the form of artificial light as well. And uh, good. Yes. Uh, for example, remember we had this hurricane, and the day after a hurricane where mm. all this electricity was shut down yes i don't know guys how did you sleep like for example yeah. i slept amazing of course, of course it was not whole night sleep straight but right. i felt amazing and my husband said that he was so well rested do you have any opinion on that yeah yeah did you, i i, I did hear you have it a, feel some kind of change yeah, sure absolutely and i do it when i go camping um a lot of people think they sleep well mm -hmm. but they have no idea what good sleep really is and good sleep Good sleep is almost like for anybody who's ever been in, in, in surgery or has you know, been operated on, um, when they put you under for anesthesia, you lose track of time. So you should lose track of time. While you should have a, 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 a constant steady dreaming and good dream recall, and you should lose track of time um, you know, while you sleep. This is, a, this is a sign that you are actually reaching deep stages of sleep. Um, and so, yeah, but I've heard it from many people, and the best was uh, with Hurricane Sandy. That happened in the Northeast. It, um, the electricity in some places was out for three weeks. And uh, people, people that I know were reporting that, you know, not only better sleep, but, um, you know, other health issues that they had seemed to wane or go away completely. But, um, yeah, yeah, I've definitely had that experience in a lot of people. It's just like when going camping, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah. We think that it is fresh air, of course, but right. in addition, right. also not many of these buttersome waves going on, right. the magnetic fields right here. If anybody watching us here, we don't know if somebody watches us, <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think? <laughs> did you, did you familiar, are you familiar with this uh, EMF? Yeah, EMF, EMF, EMF stuff. I'm just curious, just curious what you know about it, and uh, we can uh, ask Danny because he has experience. We can ask him. 
right? Yes. So we have time. We have time. Yeah. So let's let's use it. Look Opportunity. Look That's look not very often. You, uh, we can ask some questions from people who are familiar with. There are. Um, <clears throat> it's it's pervasive in our life. It's. Uh, it's, it's everywhere and it's with the whole advent of the Internet of Things where they are, I don't know if you're familiar with this term, but they are now making everything with smart capabilities, everything. And they, they want to sell it as that it's you know, really for um, functioning and, 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 and user functioning and convenience, but it also has a great backdoor uh, marketing um, uh, no, achievability yes. so yeah, have to pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so but anyway but there all of these new appliances uh, DVD players printers whatever not only are they becoming wireless but they're also or the printers are becoming wireless and things like that but they're also have this ability um, to interact with your wireless modem and um, this way uh, the appliance or the device communicates with your wireless modem and you're getting you're able to upload things or they're getting information back to them manufacturers are getting information back to them about maybe your electricity usage or uh, whatever things your electricity usage on these devices so they're trying to manufacturers are it will be the standard probably in about five to ten years that almost everything you own in the house that is of electric uh, capability will have some sort of wireless um, capabilities embedded in it. And these frequencies, um, a lot of people, um, there are even studies, you know, funded by people who have money in the game, in the industry, um, they will try to uh, confuse you and tell you that this is completely harmless, um, but it's, it's not, uh, you know, the radio, they're in between radio and microwave frequencies and uh, they pervade throughout your home, they penetrate your wall, and they penetrate you and affect your, uh, your mitochondria, your biology. Yeah, that was very interesting that you started talking about this microwave. Yes, yes. Well. <laughs> because uh, recently we had this conversation on some of uh, Facebook mom's group yes. that she wanted to use microwave and somebody says, yes, I use it, I reheat my water or ma make my meal reheat or something. Um, somebody does not use, do you use microwave? No. <laughs> to unlock your nutrients like water soluble vitamin C and B <laughs> to cook up the carrot. Yeah, I don't know. Mandarin? I, I'll tell you Mandarin. this. I, I, I just learned most of it by talking to you about it, but I've okay. seen uh, a few things recently. Well, one thing I've seen is that they're trying to change the name of the microwave because there's a lot of bad connotation with microwave, and there should be, but they're trying to change the name. I don't know if they have any suggested names that they're trying to change it to but anyway they know there's a bad connotation but with good reason um, because microwave energy is is harmful um, there's one story that I always tell people about uh, there was this book I read going somewhere and in it um, it's this this biophysicist attorney writes a book about the dangers of electromagnetic frequencies and also about his court cases against um, industry that put this energy out and um, you know and and label it or market it as completely safe so in this book there were two young waitresses um, two waitresses maybe about 30 um, and both of them uh, worked at a restaurant and they both developed cataracts at 30 years old used to be you didn't get cataracts till you were 60 70 80 years old Today, with that, it's changing. I see people in their 50s um, having cataract formation. But anyway, these people, these women were 30. And um, part of their, the detail of their job was standing in front of a microwave, um, you know, every work shift and turning on the microwave, standing, waiting for it, and opening the microwave door and getting extra blast of radiation. And so their microwave was leaking radiation, and then when they'd open it up, they'd get a, an extra blast of radiation and whatever heat was coming from the food. Um, and so, yeah, they formed cataracts at 30 years old. So if they want to tell you microwave is healthy, I can tell you that there are many stories to, to uh, many anecdotes to, to counteract what they say about mm -hmm. microwave radiation. But notice that they're focusing just on the nutrients of the food, which may be that some heating of nutrients unlocks some nutrients. I don't know which they are, but 
heating unlocks uh, some nutrients in food. So it could possibly be that there are small benefits to the microwave, but they completely mm -hmm. ignored or glossed over the, um, the, whole, um, the whole issue of uh, microwave radiation you know, affecting you while mm -hmm. you're cooking, and not just your food. Yes. And it, but on so a, you, you, do you recommend to wear glasses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Look, look at this. Um, I went to printer, to copy, to print, uh, how to say, to, uh, let's say, Home Depot. I yeah. needed to make some copies of the Yes. Book. And you know, all the slides. Yes. That's ho horrible. Yeah. And the girl will print it. She will print all this book and she stands all day. That and flash does of she light. thinks about it, how yeah. bad it is for her. I don't know how. 10 or 12 dollars an hour. Right. And then uh, all this, uh, I mean, that is not easy. No, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm happy to stay, to be stay-at-home mom and work from home whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, the thing is, is if you are cognizant of this, you can navigate a modern yes, society, exactly. you know? Exactly, but that's what we want to bring people, this knowledge, right? Yes. And thank you so much. Yes. And then it comes and just cleans these houses uh, of, out of this dirty I mean, brings you awareness of it. Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, you know, it's you can get in trouble for making medical claims about certain things, but in, mm -hmm. I, you know, invariably everybody, um, everybody's home who I go into and I mitigate their dirty electricity. I always hear stories of people sleeping better. Uh -huh. um, so you know, there are simple things you can do, and then there are some not so simple things uh, to mitigate your environment. But um, uh, it can definitely. It can. It definitely has an impact on your health. From my, I've, not from just the research, but from my experience in people's homes. Um, yeah, I, I yeah, see it all the time. That was powerful story about that um, mother and that her son really his health improved. Oh yes. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah. And from it was two simple, two simple moves. It was turning off the light, and she also turned off her wireless router. Yes. After after actually. Uh, talking to, uh, to you about it when sometimes I forget to do some stuff and I fall asleep <laughs> so when I go to I have to turn my dishwasher and put some stuff I just don't turn my light anymore yes I yes. don't want to wake up yes yes yeah. I want to go back to sleep yeah I don't want this uh, electromagnetic to penetrate my yes. brain yes I'm just curious if someone um, uses here like EMF protector are you familiar can you say us something in the comments even if you're a player viewer you can still tell us we were really curious seriously we can't uh, do this big research, you know, for the whole American, but at least uh, among our friends we can find out something. Share your experience, please. And thank you so much for watching. Do you have anything to say? Um, no, no, that's it. I mean, that's just, amazing. Uh, yes. there's just so much out, so many, so much in the invisible world and the invisible, with these invisible phenomena, um, phenomenon out there, phenomena out there. Uh, yeah, that we just we don't see that's affecting us, and it's easy to look around and see everybody else using their devices and just ignoring this um, because it is an invisible mm -hmm. um, health risk. But uh, but um, don't don't be like that. Don't don't just ignore it. Mm -hmm. Don't just ignore it and put your head in the sand because it's one of those insidious things that it doesn't necessarily affect you right away although there are small effects in the immediate but the real effects are the long term <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you so much we, we thank did, you yeah thank you <laughs> no no thank you okay so guys uh, comment please about your emf protectors and if you want to know more or um, yeah i mean whatever person. send it because there's a there there are a lot of products out there that aren't worth it and there are some products that are better than others but the the, the real protection comes from lowering your exposure through turning off mitigating the sources of dirty electricity mm -hmm. not necessary i mean there are things there are things you can do to buy to lessen uh, to products that you can there are different types of things that's why i'm kind of hemming and hawing about saying it because there are different ways of of mitigating it but yeah there are, there are a lot of there are um, actually oils also. There are also oils that help yes, with radiation. Sure. <laughs> Seriously. Anything, I've read anything, about it. anything that can calm that parasympathetic response. So sometimes this radiation can ca cause can be enough to cause a stress in the body. Uh -huh. So if you have any type of formula where you can spray to calm yourself, mm -hmm. 
in those type of environment, you know, then this is another way that it lessens the, the, um, the avalanche of effects in your body. Because you have, if once it starts affecting your biology, then you start producing all these stress hormones. Well, if you can calm that down, then you lessen the effect of it as well. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Have a wonderful day, guys. And comment us something and ask questions. We will go back and help you to understand or share some links and share some links with us what you know about it. Share this video with your friends. Maybe, please, yeah. Yeah, please. So, ouch. <laughs> Jacob, <laughs> biting. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.